Peter, there's a real crisis currently between uh, Turkey and Israel. Previously, the two were allies, worked uh, military to military cooperation, all kinds of economic reforms uh, between the two countries. What's happening now, and why is this dan a danger to the region and to relations uh, uh, abroad? Um, there have been tensions in, in the Turkish-Israeli relationship uh, since the uh, Israeli invasion of Gaza at the end of 2008, and the public confrontation between uh, Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan and uh, Israeli President Shimon Peres in Davos in early 2009. But the origins of the, of the current crisis uh, go back to the flotilla incident uh, last year when a Turkish ship was boarded by Israeli commandos and eight Turkish citizens and a Turkish American were killed. Uh, the UN investigated this um, and a report was, was issued uh, at the beginning of September. Uh, that did not satisfy Turkey because uh, it suggested that the Israeli uh, blockade of Gaza was legal uh, and uh, Turkey moved uh, to downgrade its relationship with uh, uh, Israel immediately. Uh, it reduced the diplomatic relationship to a second secretary level. Uh, it also uh, uh, declared that it would take the issue um, to the International Court of Justice and also said that Turkey would move uh, to guarantee the freedom of navigation um, in the Eastern Mediterranean, in effect, uh, suggesting that there might be a possible confrontation, military confrontation between Turkey and Israel. Clearly, uh, the two countries are at loggerheads, and uh, that creates additional problems, of course, for the U.S., which has good relations with both Israel as well as Turkey. But the, the Turkish-Israeli alliance was a very important one. Why do both countries seem so uh, quick to be able to, to forego it and dismantle it? Well, I think both countries tried uh, to, to avoid uh, getting into the kind of situation that we're in now, which is really a diplomatic impasse, uh, with the, the very real possibility that it's going to get worse uh, before it, it gets better. Uh, the, uh, the two sides had four secret meetings, even as the UN uh, was meeting uh, to, uh, um, to finalize its report, but they were ultimately unsuccessful. Uh, the Israeli government, which is a coalition, is, you know, was in a difficult position. Uh, at least one faction within the coalition was saying that if there was uh, an apology, that it would consider leaving the, the, uh, the coalition. And, uh, and Pr Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, obviously decided to pay the dip diplomatic costs of a worsening relationship with, with Turkey than the domestic political costs uh, that an apology uh, would bring. All politics is local, even in the Middle East, I suppose. Absolutely. A big test case coming up uh, for the U.S.-Israel relationship is, of course, uh, the, the vote on Palestinian statehood at the U.N. this week. What's Turkey's role in that equation? From the very beginning of this campaign uh, f uh, to get the U.N. to recognize Palestinian statehood, Mr. Erdogan has been very supportive. He's had a number of meetings with the Palestinian president, uh, uh, Mahmoud Abbas, including one in Cairo uh, during his visit. And he's, he's been uh, uh, supporting it to such an extent that he'll spend the, uh, this whole week in, uh, at the UN to support uh, the effort and to maximize the number of votes that the Palestinians would get if it comes up in front of the General Assembly. President Obama has already announced that uh, the U.S. will veto it because it does not believe that a unilateral move by the Palestinians uh, is conducive uh, to a peace settlement. So when the two men meet, uh, this is the issue that, uh, that they will take up. What is the status of the U.S.-Turkish relationship right now? Well, President Obama, as I said, is, is being very supportive of uh, an enhanced Turkish role in, in the Middle East. Uh, throughout the crisis, he's been consulting closely with Prime Minister Erdogan, with whom he has an excellent relationship. But uh, uh, the fact that uh, uh, Turkey's uh, now involved in a, uh, in a difficult relationship with Israel, and given uh, the, the close relations between uh, the United States and Israel, a special relationship, as it's been often called, it seems likely that uh, President Obama will find it more difficult to maintain this close relationship if the Turkish-Israeli relationship worsens. What are the best hopes for repairing these relationships going forward? Well, ideally, uh, Turkey and Israel, uh, perhaps uh, through uh, uh, a quiet, secret dialogue, work out a uh, compromise. But that seems unlikely uh, in the near future. Uh, as the issue has gone public and both sides have taken public positions, the Israelis show no sign of, of backing down. And the first part, uh, the Turkish side doesn't show any uh, um, uh, inclination to, to back down. And it seems unlikely that uh, the President Obama, with less than a year to go, or just the, over a year to go to, to elections, 
has the kind of uh, domestic political clout uh, uh, to move on this issue uh, if he does not have, have the support of the, of the Friends of Israel on, on Capitol Hill. So uh, it very much looks as if things could get much worse before get, they get better. Fascinating dynamics at, at work here. Bjorn, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.